welcome back to today's session on the multimedia system we will dive into the world of the document architecture and content management the crucial areas for organizing and presenting the multimedia and text data we will explore the concept like the content design the hypertext the standardized format like the html html which is structure how information is shared and displayed so let's get started on understanding how these concepts create the foundation for the digital content management and seamless communication so now the content design and development content design and development focus on planning and organizing the information to make it engaging and accessible in this process designer determine the layout the style the structure to guide the user interaction it's about choosing the right mix of the media elements like the text images videos and hyperlinks to enhance the user experience and uh, easy to understand also effective content design also considers the accessibility making sure that everyone regardless of abilities can engage with the information presented so now the general design principles general design principles guide the creation of any multimedia content emphasizing the clarity the alignment contrast and balance these principles ensure that the layout of the text images and other elements enhances the readability and engagement for instance aligning text and visuals uniformly creates a clean look while contrasting the colors draw the attention to key points balance distributes elements evenly and simplicity avoids the clutter allowing the main message to stand out by following this principle content becomes organized and attractive making it easier for user to navigate and understand so now the hypertext concept hypertext is a way of uh, connecting information across the documents and or sections by using the clickable links allowing for the non linear navigation unlike traditional linear linear text hypertext enables user to jump to related content creating an interactive and interconnected web of information this concept underpins the world wide web where hyperlinks make it easy to access the related pages and resources by using the hypertext creators can make content more flexible allowing users to explore topics in depth according to their interest and needs so now the open document architecture the open document architecture is a framework that defines a standard for structuring the document to ensure they are compatible across the various software platforms it developed to promote the consistency oda include the guidelines for text images and layout making it easier to exchange the document between the systems by standardizing the document format oda allows users to open edit and share the document without worrying about compatibility issues this architecture is especially useful in the environment where the collaboration and information sharing are essential like the whatsapp you can say or the git github also or any uh, social media platforms also they follow the open document architecture okay and the pdf viewer you can see so now the multimedia and hypermedia coding expert group it focuses on creating the standard for the multimedia applications including the image video and audio content mhg provides the coding rules that help the different media types work together seamlessly these groups standards are essential in the multimedia systems ensuring that various media elements function consistently across the platforms image is contribution are particularly valuable in areas like the interactive interactive tv and educational software where the multimedia elements are frequently integrated okay so the standard generalized markup language sgml is a standard language used to define the document architecture or document structure allowing the creators to label the content meaningfully by using the tags 
HTML organizes the text, image, and other elements in a document, creating a hierarchy that software can interpret. This system is essential for the databases and content management system, where the data structure matters. HTML paved the way for more widely used markup languages such as HTML, XML, and remains a cornerstone for understanding the structured document format in the content management. So now the document type definition. The document type definition provides a framework for defining the document structure in the markup language like the HTML and XML. DTD outlines the rules and the structure that documents must follow, ensuring the consistency in how data is organized. For instance, DTD specifies which tags are allowed and how they relate to each other, making it easier for software to process the documents correctly. In the content management, the DTD is essentially as it is standard, standardized the document, supporting the reliable data exchange and proper display across the systems. So now the hypertext markup language in the web publishing. HTML is primarily primary language for creating the web pages and structuring the content on the internet. Using a series of tags, HTML organizes the elements like heading, paragraphs, image, and links, allowing the web browser to render the pages accurately. HTML is crucial for web publishing as it provides the foundation for, for most online content. Through HTML, creators can design the interactive pages with hyperlinks enabling the users to navigate easily. Mastering HTML is essential for anyone interested in the web design or digital content management. Okay. So now the case study of applications. Exploring the case studies of application that utilize these concepts can help to illustrate the real world benefits of the document architecture and content management. Applications in the e-learning, digital libraries and online publishing demonstrate how principles like the hypertext and standardized formats enhance the user experiences. For instance, digital libraries rely on content management to organize and retrieve the information. While e-learning platforms uses the hypertext to link the related topics, these applications show how thoughtful design can make complex information systems accessible and user friendly okay so that's wrap up our uh, discussion on document architecture and content management we have seen how various uh, standards and frameworks support the design and distribution of the digital content remember mastering these foundational principles will greatly aid in creating the structured accessible and versatile multimedia documents thanks for joining and uh, see you in the next video